Time now for the morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Not looking at anything in the way of rain or snow today. We're sticking with the sunshine. Temperatures a few degrees warmer than what we had yesterday. As we transition into tomorrow, same kind of thing. Sunny skies and temperatures near to above average. Uh, an actual tsunami warning. Uh, everybody get at least 100 feet above sea level. Not an update to breaking news. Been following this morning, people in Kodiak, Alaska, woke to police urging residents to leave their homes after a 7.9 earthquake prompted a tsunami warning and watch along the western coast of the U.S. that did include Alaska. Those have since expired as residents are now making their way back to their homes this morning. Sarah. Flu season is ending in just a few weeks, but while one strain of the flu virus might be slowing down, doctors say another one is on its way. There are three types of flus, but doctors say there are two they are closely watching. Doctors are predominantly seeing influenza A, but they say they're now starting to see influenza B virus. People are always at risk for a new influenza strain, so prevention becomes very important. It's never too late to get the flu vaccine. What doctors are seeing locally coming up in the five facts. Crystal? This morning, the students at UNM are asking state lawmakers for $130,000. This is to add some lights to dark spots on campus. The student union is asking for funding from capital outlay money with plans to install emergency solar lights to the two parking lots by Johnson Field and right near the duck pond. We'll let you know if lawmakers do give this a green. Also this morning, we're still waiting for the courts to decide if the man accused of nearly killing a teen with a shovel will get his charges dropped. Justin Hansen is awaiting trial for the beating of Brittany Marcel in her Albuquerque home back in 2008. Earlier this month, Hansen's attorney filed a motion to drop the charges against him, claiming the statute of limitations has expired. The state says DNA proves Hansen was the attacker and says prosecutors went to court before the clock ran out and indicted Hansen's DNA. On to news happening right now. Former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson is trying to secure the release of two detained journalists. Richardson met with the leader of Myanmar yesterday, asking for the release of two journalists who were detained for covering the crisis of Muslims being run out of that country. It's unclear if the pair came to an agreement during the meeting. This morning, a state senator will continue working to gain support to raise money for road improvements. That's across the state. Each November, New Mexico voters decide how to spend millions in state bond money. It usually includes libraries, senior centers, and higher education. Democrat Senator Carlos Cisneros wants to add a fourth option, state road repair. His new bill proposes $50 million split across the DOT's six districts. On to some breaking overnight news now. Neil Diamond has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and is retiring from touring. Diamond is known for hits like Sweet Caroline. The singer had been planning concerts in Australia and in New Zealand as a part of his 50th anniversary tour. According to the statement, those performances have been canceled. Diamond says he still plans to continue writing and recording music for his fans. On to developing news this morning. The search continues for several people still missing after a drilling rig exploded in eastern Oklahoma yesterday. Take a look at your TV screens here. The incident happened at a natural gas well site 100 miles southeast of Tulsa. More than a dozen workers managed to escape this intense blaze unharmed. On to new news this morning. Facebook is fessing up to its role in the 2016 presidential election. In a statement, the company acknowledged it was used to spread misinformation. It also admitted to that social media networks aren't always good for democracy. Also breaking overnight, a 49-year-old man has died. At least 10 others are injured this morning after a volcano erupted near a popular Japanese ski resort. The volcano shot flaming rocks into the sky, making for a very dangerous situation. Almost 80 people were also trapped at a cable car station on the top of that mountain until emergency personnel was able to help escort them down. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index just out of one. We have some chilly temperatures out there now, but no threats this afternoon with mild temperatures and sunny skies. Crystal? The news this morning in northern New Mexico City is calling on all cities in the state to support refugees 
This with a recently passed resolution. The Las Vegas Optic reports the Las Vegas City Council approved a symbolic measure that backs New Mexico cities who house refugees. The resolution will be forwarded to the governor, Albuquerque's mayor, and Santa Fe's mayor. On to news happening now, a new local option for streaming music, the Public Library, is now offering free music for members. The city's new music streaming service, called FreeGal, allows you to enjoy all the music that you love at no cost. All you need is a valid library card and a PIN number. The service is available to members of any public library in both Albuquerque and in Bernalillo. Kristen. Coming up for a check on traffic. No major crashes out there. We're looking pretty good as far as the flow goes on both interstates and surface streets. I'll keep eyes on the roadways for you throughout the morning. So the sweet story after nearly a year of rehabilitation, Grace O'Malley is ready for her new home. Last year, the little Malty Poo mix was rescued from a seizure. Her story reached many through social media after her rescuers reported that she lost her leg because of the conditions that she had to endure. Today, Grace O'Malley is enjoying life and looking forward to finding a forever home with her new prosthetic leg. Isn't she so adorable? Look at that cutie. Little pup. She's doing well with her new little leg. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right, time for the five facts. We start with number five. Professional golfer Nota Begay will be at an Albuquerque elementary school to help them build a new playground after it was destroyed. Fire officials say the playground at Osuna Elementary near Wyoming was intentionally set on fire. Begay is raising money through the Nota Begay, the third foundation, to add upgrades to the playground as it's rebuilt. If you know anything about the crime, you can submit a tip to Crime Stoppers. Number four now new this morning. A state senator is calling on the Public Education Secretary to resign over recent comments. State Senator Linda Lopez says comments made last month by Secretary Designate Christopher Rosalski were offensive. According to the New Mexican, the secretary said in part charter school options are American because the United States is built on ideals like manifest destiny. Lopez says the comments were offensive because of the impact that westward expansion had on Native Americans. A spokesperson for the secretary says he will not be resigning. At number three, temperatures slightly warmer today in those mid to upper 40. Sunny skies across the board. And we'll continue this gradual warm up with 50s expected by Thursday. Number two, now the government is back up and running this morning at least for 16 more days. Congress passed a short term spending bill yesterday. The bill, which includes a six year extension of the Children's Health Insurance Program, funds the government only through February 8th. That's the time GOP leadership vows to address DACA, immigration, and defense spending. On to number one now, we're talking about the flu outbreak across the U.S. and here in New Mexico. A doctor from UNMH says the flu season started much earlier this year. You might have felt it. And that they're seeing an increase in the number of patients being diagnosed with the flu. To make matters worse, there are three types of flu. They are seeing two strains so far. They're expecting a third. According to the state's Department of Health, there have been 16 deaths in New Mexico so far this year. If you want to see more on this story, go to our website. That's krqe.com.